Now let's look at DR or disaster recovery in enterprise architecture and how it fits in and what the considerations are. So the considerations are a DR plan, what exactly is lies in a DR plan, let's talk about some detail, and RTO and RPO and how we use those for disaster recovery um, enterprise architecture. So a DR plan, um, a disaster recovery policy statement, um, uh, con, you know, so a DR plan consists of a disaster recovery policy statement, plan overview, and main goals of the plan. And key personnel and DR team contact information is also a part of a very, very important part of the DR plan. Uh, DR plan, uh, let's continue talking about what are the main elements. Description of the emergency response actions, which should immediately be taken following an incident, are part of the DR plan and a diagram of the entire network and recovery site, um, uh, you know, so that we, we know exactly if there is a disaster, we can, we can pull out the important information and can, and can have access to the uh, architecture and the network diagrams. And directions for how to reach the recovery site, how to transport there, what are the directions, what is the location, uh, what are the precautions, if any. Uh, continuing with the DR plan list, um, we need a list of software, and systems that will be used in the recovery. So we have a list of uh, IT assets which are available on the DR site um, and their configuration also. And then you have sample templates for a variety of technology recoveries, including technical documentation from vendors. And uh, obviously, you know, when a disaster strikes and there's an emergency, you may not have all the essential people readily available um, because it could be any type of disaster. It could be an earthquake, it could be a flood, people could not, it's possible that people may not be able to reach. So you need to have some preparatory material so that another resource, for example, has all the information ready in front of them and they can use that information. Uh, continuing with the DR plan, you need in the DR plan a summary of the insurance coverage because you may want to immediately contact the insurance company and they may want to visit and uh, initiate the uh, insurance uh, process. And then you want proposed actions for dealing with financial and legal issues. Um, if uh, those are issues, um, uh, you know, there may be a riot and uh, there may be legal issues. Uh, there may be issues related to the press, for example. And um, the team needs to have the guidance uh, available in the form of the DR plan uh, so that that document is readily available and um, the person leading the disaster recovery efforts would, would be able to direct the, uh, the team. And ready to use forms to help complete the plan also. Um, uh, forms are there so that the rest of the organization can, can, can fill up the templates. Now this is another representation of the diagram that we saw earlier. The DR life cycle is in the following manner. The, uh, you know, there's a risk assessment you identify, then you analyze the risks with the help of the business impact analysis. You design and develop strategy. And number four, you execute the plan and execute and build up the sites. And then you measure a plan and test and maintain. So let's take a look at RTO, uh, recovery time objective, which is a very important part of disaster recovery. It's the maximum amount of time following a disaster for an organization to recover files from backup storage and resume normal operations. The maximum amount of downtime um, an organization can handle. If an organization has an RTO or recovery time objective of two hours, it cannot be down for longer than that. You have to pick up all the backups and uh, you, the personnel have to activate the main processing facilities, the critical functionalities within two hours. And that's why you have the RTO of two hours. And uh, that's also something which you practice in the DR drills. So if you have an RTO of two hours, you simulate that uh, the primary site has gone down and there has been a disaster. And um, you, in the DR drill, you need to accomplish the recovery, the simulated recovery in the DR drill well before two hours. The RPO or, or uh, recovery point objective is the maximum age of files that an organization must recover from backup storage for normal operations to resume after a disaster. And this determines the minimum frequency of backups. For example, if an organization has an RPO or recovery point objective of four hours, the system must back up at least every four hours so that you can meet the RPO. So uh, the RTO and RPO are very important considerations for the DR 
in enterprise architecture. And then the DR plan is very important. How you structure the plan, that document should be available. It should, it's like a master plan and uh, there are templates available in it. There is information, emergency information available in it. There are configurations, network diagrams, and so much information so that um, when the plan is being executed and when the disaster actually happens, that manual, the DR manual, the DR plan is a guide to use in all those circumstances. Thank you.